Switching gears now, Freddie, I know you've been asked this the whole day. You know what question's coming. You know, what do you think about uh, Mayweather's performance against Canelo? Mayweather fought a good fight. I mean, he's a very smart fighter. He, you know, he's very careful. He, you know, when, when he's careful, when he has dad in his corner, it's all defense and so forth. And, uh, you know, he lost two rounds. Uh, I predicted that he, he would win every round, but he, uh, I gave Canelo two rounds. But, um, Canelo was just too, too, too young. Mm -hmm. He just didn't have the experience to deal with that. I mean, I know how I would fight the fight, but you know, you have to have a guy that has the experience to pull the game plan off, of course. And I think he was just maybe a little bit too young for that. And um, I mean, but he didn't embarrass himself. I mean, he, he did okay. I mean, his, his career is not over. There's some big fights out there for him, but uh, you know. As far as Mayweather goes, you know, he tells, he says he gives the people what they want. I mean, if you give me a sleeping pill, it'd be equal because I fell asleep in his last two fights. I mean, he's good at what he does and so forth, but believe me, it's a little bit boring. And I say very tactical, yes. Um, like I say, well, Manny Pacquiao got knocked out in his last fight trying to win, mm -hmm. trying to win impressively. I'd rather, uh, I like that better than winning, winning just a careful decision, not taking any chances. I, I, I don't think he's giving the fans what they want. Let me ask you this. If you were in that corner that night with Canelo, what would you have told him to do against Floyd? Well, it's really not that. It's, if, I, if I was his trainer, and the way he trained for the fight would be a totally, totally more different. aggressive very bold guy. Mm -hmm. I, I thought he was going to come out and, and really try to win the fight. A lot of people thought that too, yeah. But you know, he came out and tried to outbox him. You can't do you that. You can't outbox him. a guy like that. Not with the amateur pedigree that Mayweather has. No. Yeah. Uh, it's just not going to happen. You know? it's, why, it's why I picked Danny Garcia to win because you know what? He's won the national before. He's a good boxer. Matisse is a good puncher, but he's not a good boxer. He doesn't have, any, he doesn't have a lot of skill. He's just heavy handed. You know, mm -hmm. the thing is, to win the nationals in the amateur, you have to be a good boxer to do that. So I think people were overlooking his fight also. So um, that was a good win because like the, the, the odds were great in that fight. <laughs> you know, they were a lot of people want some money on that. <laughs> but, the is, I, but the thing is, I like Canelo. He's, uh, I won't say I'm real close friends with him. I met him a couple of times. He trains at Wildcard West, which is part of him, is yeah. one of my gym, me and Peter Berg's gym and you get Gary Shandlin, and uh, he's a respectful, nice guy, and he's done a lot for the gym, he's been giving the gym a lot of exposure. And, you know, when I told Peter Berg and them that he was gonna lose, and they all said, really? <laughs> Pretty sure they didn't like that either, seeing no, Berg's kind of close to Canelo. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, I don't bet with my heart, I bet with my mind. Yeah, yeah. The, thing is, you know, the thing is, he just wasn't ready for that. For that. Um, he, to win that fight, he had to be. He would have to be really aggressive, and just uh, just go for it. Get knocked out trying to win. That's my that's, that's my philosophy on fighting Mayweather. Mm -hmm. You know, take chances, go after him. You might catch him.